Hello, I'm Yacer Tejeda, and I'm a guitar player, composer, and producer from Dominican Republic, living in Brooklyn, New York. And I'll be more than happy and honored to share with you my creative process, my music, and my work. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you. Every time I approach my work differently, I will say, but it's the same principle. There's no a specific way of approaching it, and there's no a specific way that I rely. Sometimes I come up with a melody or a riff and record it on my voice memos, and then let it sit there. And one side the side is gonna be a composition or an arrangement for a specific project, then I sit down and polish it the best I can and give it time and keep working like that. There are other ideas of songs that comes as a group, jamming out, rehearsing, having fun. And that's a cool way of collaborate and create music. I let the creative process to be organic and to come naturally. And that way the compositions or the music will feel naturally. I think the good things of approaching the work in different ways is that you learn what it works best for you and what doesn't work best. So I think what changed over the time on this approach is that you start thinking ways to make it better and you learn ways that are more effective, saying that this approach didn't work as well last time I worked on my, let's say, my second album or first album and then I decide to take another approach to be more effective so in the learning curve it's great to see the approach I'm taking and learning from it to make things more effective and make it better every time. I think my work influence every aspect of my life. Um, as a musician, I breathe, eat, drink music. Music, I think about music 24-7. Um, if I'm cooking, I'm playing music or thinking about it. If I'm making the dishes too, if I'm walking outside, if I'm commuting in the train, going somewhere in the city, I'm listening to music or listening to some of my voice memos. Or even if I'm not listening to music, I'm surrounded from music, probably like if there's dancers in the train dancing or people doing busking uh, with different styles. So I think all those aspects influence my work. Before the pandemic, checking other shows and hanging out with different artists like painters, dancers, that influence a lot uh, in my music. Hanging out with musicians' friends, listening their songs, listening what they're working on, and that really, really, really influenced uh, my music and give me inspiration to keep going. And if I'm stuck at some point, give me an inspiration to like, okay, I can keep going and I feel inspired to that. And I think those aspects uh, influence a lot of my work. Yes, 
There are specifically traditions and practices from Dominican Republic influence a lot my performance and my work. My last two albums are based in fusion with Dominican music and Afro-Dominican music. The traditions and practices from Dominican Republic are so rich. The first time I saw this music and these rhythms and these traditions in the countryside of Dominican Republic called Afro-Dominican music, I was so shocked and I was so inspired to experiencing that and I was so inspired to do music with those elements. The main rhythms of Dominican Republic that are well known are more the merengue and bachata, but in the countryside of Dominican Republic, you can hear and see a lot of traditions and practices that not that many people know because in Dominican Republic, and somehow it's been marginalized because it's, it's, it's related with race, with class, social class, politics, and other complex things. The first time I saw these rhythms, I felt really inspired to show to the world how Dominican music is beside merengue and bachata, and that's the work I've been doing. And I want to keep inspiring younger generations to check out what Dominican music is and what Afro-Dominican traditions are. In Dominican Republic, and different regions of the, of the island, you have a specific practices and a specific traditions that only happen on those regions. And there are other ones that are all over the island. And to see it, you have to go to the countryside or, you know, you can go to YouTube through my links and you will uh, experience some of that. But it's definitely heavy on Afro-Dominican traditions as well as Caribbean music in general, as well as African music, West African music, and the blend of my influence, like rock, funk, jazz, gospel. Uh, but mainly, I focus to create my music with my group with the practices and traditions from Dominican Republic. Yes, there's a few performers that I've been influenced by a lot. Starting from Jimi Hendrix was, I think, was kind of the first artist that really influenced me and made me pick up the electric guitar or different effects. And another artist that influenced me a lot, it was Luis Diaz. He's an artist from Dominican Republic. And the first time I heard him live, I bought the album and had that album on repeat. So that, that album influenced and that artist influenced a lot. As well, I was influenced by a lot of performers from Dominican Republic um, that I used to play with, such as Xiomara Fortuna, Tone Vicioso, Irka Mateo, Luis Diaz, Jose Duluc. Those artists influenced a lot in my music and in my playing. I grew up listening to a lot of the music that my dad used to listen. And the music that he used to play in the house and in the car is like Cuban music, Trova music, like Silvio Rodriguez, Pablo Milanes. He used to listen a lot of Juan Luis Guerra. Every time Juan Luis Guerra had a new album, he had the CD or cassette and he played it every time. Uh, I remember listening a lot of the Beatles. Beatles was really heavy there. And I used to watch a lot of MTV back then. And the first time I saw Guns N' Roses, the group Guns N' Roses, and the first time I saw the guitar player of that group, Slash, and I saw the video of the song called November Rain, I was blown away. I was like, I wanna be like that guy. I wanna play guitar. And this is like what 
actually inspired me to tell to my mom like the day after I saw that video, I want to play guitar. I'm decided to that I want to play guitar. And months after, I have to save save money. And my mom bought like a small guitar for me, like acoustic guitar to start learning. I started learning by myself first. And then I had a teacher after, but that was the first um, song and musician that really first inspired me to make music. I really wanted to be like that. And I learned most of the songs when I pick up the guitar and start to learn. And yes, that was incredible.